CJ Meteorological Service is now monitoring tropical disturbance CO7F. Central pressure is 999 millibars, located near CO7 decimal 5 degrees south, 174 decimal 9 degrees east. Position remains poor and is based on the Himalayan 8 visible and infrared imagery peripheral service reports and remains slow moving. Deep convection rise to the east of the supposed low level circulation center report organization and lies under an upper divergent area in a low to moderate shear environment with moderate outflow. Sea surface temperatures around 29 degrees Celsius. Global models have picked up the system and indicate a southeastward trend with gradual intensification. The potential for this system to develop into a cyclone in the next 24 to 48 hours is low to moderate and that is the Invest 93P which has been on the radar for well, must be close to a couple of weeks now and if that's 93p, 11 decibel, 4 degrees south, 173 decibel, 6 degrees east. Maximum uh, winds, 25 knots, minimum central pressure is 1000 millibars. Now here's some um, tracks on the Inves. The Samoan Meteorological service has in place a heavy rain warning for all provinces. Trophano pressure lies over the southern parts of the Solomon Islands associated cloud and heavy rain with thunderstorms expected to affect all provinces and islands. Localised heavy Rain may lead to landslide flooding over communities living near hill slopes, close to large river streams and low-lying areas. There's also a marine wind warning in place. Upper level divergence, wind shear, the reds unfavourable, greens favourable. The Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has updated their position. 24 hour shear tendency followed by the 850 minibar vorticity. Area convection in Vest 93P has persisted near 11 decibel 4 degrees south, 173 decibel 6 degrees east. This is about 330 nautical miles north northwest of Nandy, Fiji. Animated multispectral satellite imagery depicts a board area of low level trophy with multiple areas of deep convection evident in a 89 gigahertz image. The system is a result of a complex dynamic environment with converging winds from the South Pacific convergent zone and a monsoon trough interacting with Wetsley wind bursts associated with an active MJO signature. I haven't actually seen uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre refer to the MJO and thus being assessed as a hybrid tropical system. If S93P is traversing a favourable environment for further intensification with poleward outflow, low 15 knots uh, vertical wind shear, warm 30, 31 Celsius sea surface temperatures. Global models are in good agreement and Invest 93 will continue to track east southeast towards Pago Pago, American Samoa, as it further strengthens and consolidates over the next 24 to 48 hours. 
maximum sustained service winds estimated at 20 to 25 knots. Minimum sea level pressure estimated to be around 1,000 minibars. The potential for the development of a significant tropical cyclone is now medium. Now here's a look at the accumulated precipitation GFS model and uh, source of the Pivotal Weather website. The scales at the bottom of the screen and it's the area in yellow through to dark brown. Bureau Meteorology Victoria has issued another severe thunderstorm warning. Here's the instability from 10 a.m. through to 2200 hours to my. And the severe thunderstorm warning is for heavy rainfall for the East Gippsland, the Northeast, the West, and South Gippsland forecast district. And what's going on in the capital cities? 25.8 Sydney, 17.9 Brisbane, 31.1 Brisbane, 24.8 Perth, 22.1 Adelaide, 17 in Hobart, 22.9 Canberra, 33.5 Darwin. The storm probabilities Sydney, possible late shower, shower, possible early storm, Melbourne, as mentioned, they've already got a uh, severe thunderstorm warning. Brisbane, partly cloudy. Humid, partly cloudy in Perth, cloudy Adelaide, showers mainly in the morning down there in Hobart. Shower or two, possible storm in Canberra, Darwin, partly cloudy. And the weather radar is currently showing up the storm activity uh, here in the southeast corner of Queensland. Here's the, the precipitation and pressure information, bottom of the screen. A little bit of activity to the southwest of uh, Brisbane, a little bit uh, southern end of Caloundra, the Sunshine Coast, and a little bit over the Somerset Dam heading northwest towards Blackbuck. And there's a little bit of activity, Port Macquarie, and the Bureau's 12 hourly rainfall. The rainfall scale is the right hand side of the screen. Bureau Meteorology has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for heavy rainfall for the Southern Tablelands, the ACT. And it's also for heavy rain. And here's the Bureau's 24-hour rainfall across the forecast period. And we now have a developing a tropical scene. And there will most likely be another update later on this afternoon. Or evening. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can check us out on all of our outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword Force 13. You're probably there already, good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, 
keyword force 13 where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well and we're on twitter keyword force 13 and if you want to rock our colors like nathan foy here you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the patreon more information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash force 13 and you can reach out to us on skype at force 13 or to me directly on Discord at T Ren extension 1375, or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force 13.